Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Friday, and I actually am right on time doing this video for the first time in I don't know how many weeks, man. But I appreciate those of you who have subscribed. I know I haven't been doing a lot of sneaker videos lately, but I've been focused on the business side of things. And I wrote an article this week that, um, for lack of a better word, I got it wrong. But it was not because I got it wrong. It was because there's a lack of information being shared from the Adidas basketball camp. So there's a new video, if you guys haven't seen it. And uh, I wrote the article that you see next to me here. It says, two long years of Foot Locker announcement. And now Adidas basketball delivers chapter one, Remember the Why. Now, if you look at that picture that's over here to my side, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. If you know anything about fashion, uh, fear of God, uh, Jerry Lorenzo's aesthetic, that picture looks like a fear of God picture. So when I originally wrote the article, I stated that after two long years, Jerry Lorenzo is finally delivering um, this fear of God athletics package. And I was like, yo, this looks pretty interesting. And if you haven't seen the video, I'm going to show a little bit of it. I'll turn it down. So you get a look at this video and the way it starts, and it's about a two to three minute video. So I'm not going to show the entire thing here. But it starts with, uh, from the athlete's point of view, he's walking through this crowd of people and he's um, dealing with the people coming up to him wanting to take pictures. He eventually gets out of that place. He leaves, he's hyperventilating and he gets into a cab. And even when he's in the cab, these obsessed fans are chasing the cab to get a signature. The video then shifts into the athlete going outside of wherever he is back to a court and being able to hoop without any distractions, getting back to remembering why the athlete loves the game. When you look at this video and you look at the aesthetics, you see this new shoe come into the picture. That's a Jerry Lorenzo look. Everything about it is a Jerry Lorenzo look. So you see I'm all demonstrable talking about it, but I just wanted to make sure I talked about that in detail. Here's the issue. When I did this video, when I did this article, I was not aware of any additional issues that were ongoing. And then I got an email. So this is the night before uh, Thanksgiving. I think it's the night before Thanksgiving. And um, I get an email from the team at Fear of God and they make a statement. And that's when I wrote this article and I put this image what you see right here this image is from 2020 when adidas decided to partner up with uh jerry lorenzo now remember in 2020 in november jerry lorenzo had just put out a nike collection i mean less than two to three weeks after the nike collection drop he had the three stripes on the back of his neck and the tattoo and Jerry Lorenzo was going to become the creative and strategic lead at Adidas basketball. So I sat down and I had to respond to that email by removing some information. So let's get to it. Um, so I wrote the article and I said that yesterday Adidas basketball delivered a visual for their latest campaign. The title of the project is Remember the Why. The article above, which I'm showing you right here, addresses the new ad. I initially assumed looking at the aesthetic of the film and styling of the athlete featured in the spot, which ran during if you were like out on Wednesday night because you didn't feel like cooking and doing anything else and you were watching the games, the spot for Remember the Why ran during the Nets versus the 76ers game, but there was no James Harden on the floor. It was easy to, basically it was easy to assume that Lorenzo and the Fear of God team was behind this visual and I'm going back over here because you can see this picture clearly but more important I'm going to show you another picture here in one second so keep in mind this image that you see my mouse moving around it was easy to assume that Jerry Lorenzo and the Fear of God team was behind the visual they were not and I'm explicitly telling you guys they were not behind it so when they sent me the contact this is what the contact said and I'm going to read it to you um, Los Angeles, California, November 22nd, 2022. Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God are focused on the launch of our third pillar, Fear of God Athletics, in partnership with Adidas, which will debut the first half of 2023. The collection includes both performance and lifestyle footwear, as well as a complete athletic ready-to-wear offering. Jerry Lorenzo and the Fear of God team are not leading 
the Adidas basketball category from a creative or strategic perspective as previously announced in December 2020. Nobody's talking about this because it hasn't been introduced or discussed by Adidas. It's not on all of your big websites, but it is possibly the most important story of the holiday season for Adidas and for another particular reason that I'm going to get to. So this is the rest of the letter. For the past 18 months, the two houses have been focused on the development of our collective partnership, Fear of God Athletics. The latest campaign from Adidas Basketball, Remember the Why, is not connected to what Fear of God and Adidas are working on together. This part, Jerry Lorenzo and the Fear of God team are not leading the Adidas basketball category, is extremely problematic. If you don't understand why, I'm going to explain. I have a few text messages that I wish I could share with you, but this is from the inside of some people that are on the inside of things in Portland. And um, first, though, I'm going to show you this image of the Essentials Collection from 2022. You look at this image. And you look at this image, and I don't care who you are, the aesthetic is purely Jerry Lorenzo. This Adidas image that he has nothing to do with is clearly influenced by this collection. You can't argue me down about this. If you don't see it, you can't see. Now, when I saw this image, that's why I said that it was Jerry Lorenzo. So I didn't do this maliciously or because I was uninformed. I saw an aesthetic of a person that said in 2020 they were leading this division. But this above response from the team of Fear of God could be basically a general email and statement, but it's important to remember that in April of 2021, Adidas began moving their basketball operations from Portland to Los Angeles. Now, one of the people that were all, that was over basketball for Adidas stayed in Portland. He did not want to uproot his family and move them to Los Angeles. He stayed in Portland and went back to Nike. This is extremely important for a number of reasons. Let's get here. This appeared to be a move. That move from Portland to Los Angeles appeared to be a move rooted in the relationship with fear of God. If Lorenzo isn't leading the division that's reported in 2020, there's a breakdown in the North American strategy. I sent a bunch of questions to the team at fear of God to get a more detailed understanding of what's happening, but there are correlative issues beyond just Adidas and fear of God's partnership that are being, um, affected and shaped by what has happened internally that we are not privy to. I have not gotten any answers yet. I sent the email a few days ago. It is the holiday, so I don't expect any quick answers. Maybe next week I'll update you guys on this, but I haven't gotten any answers from the team. They simply reached out and said, hey, take our name out of it. And that threw me for a loop. And this is where it gets really interesting. Uh, Franklin Bracken, who's a Foot Locker executive, stated the following, and I'm going to read this quote to you guys. During the Q3 conference call, a Q&A when uh, analyst Jay Soul asked how the Yeezy rebrand would possibly shape Foot Locker. And this is what Franklin Bracklin said. Yes, I think it's probably a better question, honestly, for the Adidas team to be perfectly candid. But what I can tell you is we've got a full assortment of Adidas products, everything from Boost to Nomad or NMD to Classic Basketball. And there's a great partnership that they launched with Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God this holiday. Now, it says it's holiday, but I'm pretty sure because this is transcribed from the conference call, it reads this holiday. That means that there was supposed to be some product going into Foot Locker for this holiday season, which starts today, which is Black Friday. There is no mention. And clearly, clearly, Fear of God is working on their release for the first half of 2023, which will put us over the two year mark for any items from the collaboration between Fear of God and Adidas. This is the more critical part. Foot Locker already wrote down $50 million of a loss due to Yeezy being removed from the retailer. But it's clear when you read that Franklin Bracken quote, make sure I said his name right, Franklin Bracken quote, um, 
Foot Locker was going to lean heavily on storytelling around Lorenzo's fear of God to capture the audience Yeezy once held. Now that Fear of God Athletics appears to be pushed back to 2023 with no clearly defined timeline, this leaves Adidas as, as Foot Locker's next biggest supplier after Nike without a hyped product in the pipeline to bolster the relationship between Adidas and Foot Locker. Now, if you've noticed, Foot Locker has been sending out a lot of Puma MBB uh, content lately, shifting from Adidas to Puma and the way they emphasize the alternative options that they have available. Now, I hate having that big ad down there of AG1. They're not paying me, but it's an ad from the website. I'm going to get rid of that so you guys don't have to look at it. Um, when I get a response from the team at Fear of God, I'll update and share information. But if you haven't heard about this story and you've seen this video, one, what do you think about the video? But more important, what do you think about what's happening with Adidas in North America right now? There seems to be a lot of turmoil and a lot of um, something that's going on. Yeezy's gone. Fear of God is no longer leading that division of basketball. And it seems that there's just a lot of um, disarray internally, especially if a company uprooted an entire division and moved it from Portland to, do you realize how difficult that is? It's very hard. Um, this is the video for today. I had some other good stuff on the website I wanted to share with you guys that I didn't get into. Um, I did an article on Jordan brand. I did sales data research and I haven't updated it because I want to wait another week to see how the information shapes up for Jordan brand. And I'll share that video with you next week on uh, next Friday. But um, if you guys like this content, uh, Subscribe to the site, share it with people so you can have better conversations. This is something that's being overlooked, and it's one of the biggest stories of the holiday season and of the sneaker industry at this point. Uh, Jerry Lorenzo and Fear of God are no longer leading, you know, Adidas basketball. And that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. I'll see you guys on the next one. Any questions you have, if I can answer them, I will. You can leave comments. Once I get my questions back from the companies, both companies, Three Stripes and From Fear of God, I will keep you guys posted on what's happening. Hopefully you had a great uh, holiday, you ate some great food, uh, enjoyed time with family. I'll see you guys next week. Peace.